Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I am bringing you my emergency reads. You know, the books, your go-to books you go to when you're feeling a certain type of way. This month I am happy to share I am working with Simon and Schuster. They were so kind to send me Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. This is her debut contemporary YA novel. And if you don't know what Emergency Contact is about, we follow our main two characters, Penny and Sam. Penny, her high school life wasn't the most eventful for her, so we're following her journey as she moves to Austin, Texas to attend college and become a writer, where we also have Sam, who's kind of stuck in his life financially, emotionally. He works at a coffee shop where he literally just lives in the storage room upstairs on a mattress, so he's just kind of stuck in life. So our story starts off when these two meet in a not-so-cute kind of way, pretty awkward meet cute but somehow they still end up exchanging numbers and keeping in touch via text becoming digitally inseparable sharing their dreams their thoughts their anxieties about life without having to actually meet with each other face to face aka becoming each other's emergency contacts contacts now this one isn't out yet it comes out march 27 so you should actually go buy it in the stores when it does first of all can we talk about this gorgeous cover? I had already been eyeing this before Simon & Schuster contacted me, so I was so thrilled when I got this in the mail. And I'm already about 50 pages in or so, and guys, so cute already. So, so relatable. Our main character, Penny, she is Korean American. And honestly, I'm finding so many relatable things and it's just, it's making my heart happy. It's making my heart happy. So, so excited. It's beautiful. Look at the font. Look at the colors. Look at it naked. Uh, I am going to be doing a giveaway concerning this beauty right here, so stick around till the end of the video to look and see, and you might win a little prize. Woo hoo hoo. But anyway, emergency contact. I'm going to show you my emergency reads. The first book, my emergency read, is a book that made you feel like a kid again, and this is a recent read. I had mentioned it in my video previously, but I'm going to mention it again, and that is Furthermore, by Tahara Mafi, you know I just finished this a week ago, gave it five stars. It is slightly based off of Alice in Wonderland, but I don't know. I could mention Harry Potter for this question, but honestly, furthermore, it just made me feel so, like, childlike. Since it is a middle reader, like, high stakes aren't on my mind. I know they're not gonna die type of thing, so having these adventures with them just made it so fun and so exciting, and this world is so colorful and magical, and it just made makes me feel like a kid. So my book to go to when I want to feel like a kid. Furthermore by Tara Moffey. Next up is a book you go to when you want to laugh. This is another one I recently mentioned. All these books recently just have been A++ in my eyes. Also one I'm currently in the middle of and that is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I'm actually listening to the audiobook at the moment and even though if you know anything about the Illuminae Files, it's very action-packed, there's a lot of death, tragedy, it's honestly tension. But why it makes me laugh? The audiobook specifically, and for this one specifically, our main character Nick, he is so darn funny. Even though this book is tragic and there's so many bad things happening, I find myself laughing while listening to In the Car so many times. He's just hilarious. And the actor who voices him, so hilarious, so attractive sounding, and just, it's great. Actually, I went to the Obsidio signing two days ago and Jay revealed that he writes the guys. So it just makes sense why I would love Nick because he's so funny, witty, and sarcastic, and snarky, and I just love it. My go-to read when I want a little laugh. Next up is a go-to read when you want to feel scared. For this one, I'm including a manga, graphic novel. It's kind of a hybrid of the two. And that is Uzumaki by Junji Ito. If you know me, I am a big manga reader. And one of my favorite Hora manga authors is Junji Ito. He is also the illustrator as well. This one, look at these terrifying illustrations. They're just, they're just great. Uzumaki is basically about a town that gets infested with the idea of this spiral, like a little spiral spiral. They become obsessed with it. Literally people start turning into spirals. It starts consuming their minds. It's hard to explain, but if you are a manga lover, if you're a horror enthusiast like myself, I would definitely check out Uzumaki. Every time I pick it up and read it, it just boggles my mind at how creative and creepy and freaky it is. And it just, it'll change your life and it's amazing. 
and look at the aesthetics of this black. You need that on your shelf. It, it's great. Next up is a book I go to when I want to feel comfort, comforted, a comfort read. And you know, I gotta include Sarah J. Mass. Sarah J. Mass Trash, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I read this book only twice, planning to reread it a third time because the last book is coming out this summer and your girl, I'm not prepared. <laughs> but yes, Throne of Glass. I've read it two times. I've listened to the audiobook. No matter how many times I go back to it, it just makes me feel so at home. Like I don't know how to describe it. It's a comfort read. I just feel so at home when I read these books because I know the plot so well. I know the characters so well. I feel like they're my family. I feel like they're my friends. Some of them I feel like they're my bays. A. Um, but I don't know. This book, it's so special to me. The characters are so special. The world is so special. I'm so excited for the end slash not prepared. And it's always going to be there for me. I love it. And my last book I have on this list is a book I go to when I want to feel lost. For this one, if you know me, I have like a weird fascination with the circus and the carnival. Just like the whole aesthetic and theme of books that revolve around that. So for that one, I am featuring Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This one, ha! I'm not a super big fan of the characters in this book. I'm more obsessed with the world it takes place in. The world of Caravel, this game that our main two characters travel to to try to rescue her sister and they get twisted into the weird, curious game that is Caravel. It was just so unpredictable and weird. I just felt myself really fascinated with this world. Everything is not what it seems. It's creepy. It's crazy. It's fantastical. It's beautiful. It's just all these things. It's kind of like the Alice in Wonderland effect, which again, also why I like Furthermore. These two books, you easily get lost in the world that it portrays. And the second one comes out in May. Super excited. I hope it captivates me as much as this one. Because honestly, when I got this one, I literally sat down in my bed and read it for seven hours straight. And I just didn't not get up and I finished it. That doesn't happen that often but with this one it did and I love it. I love it so much. Alright guys, that is my emergency reads, the books I go to when I'm feeling these emotions but, but, if you stuck around, yay, I have a little giveaway for you. So, since Simon & Schuster did send me emergency contact, and I have the finished copy, I also have an extra advanced reader's copy that one of you can win. Yay! So what you need to do to win this beautiful copy, because honestly, look, it's the advanced arc copy, but it's still gorgeous. It's still so, so gorge. So what you need to do, I have an Instagram, link will be right here below, Ashley Ash with two Ys. All you have to do is go on to my Instagram page and like my picture featuring emergency contact, Comment on it below telling me what is one of your emergency reads. What's a book you go to when you're feeling happy, sad, joy, comfort? What is a book you pick up? What is your emergency read? And then I will send you, I will pick you a lucky winner to win emergency contact. Go, go comment, go like, go. You want this arc. You want this arc. Because trust me, I already started reading it and it's great. I love it. It's so great. It was one of my anticipated reads of the year, so I'm so happy to have it. Okay, so that is the end of my video. Thank you again, Simon & Schuster, for sending me emergency contact. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what some of my emergency reads are. Give it a like down below, comment, tell me some of your emergency reads, where are the books you go to. Don't forget to enter the giveaway on my Instagram. You want this book. You want it. I will send it to you personally. I will. That is all for today. My name is Ashley. This is Ashley Page, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you!